Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD. And yes, welcome back to episode two on my Build Me computer uh, under $500. So today's episode, we're going to install our Gigabyte 78 LMT USB 3 motherboard, which is an awesome motherboard. And uh, we're gonna put it inside our Cougar Gaming uh, tower. So uh, let's get started. All right guys, so what do I have? I have the tower, I got the motherboard, but you need other little things. Uh, you need some screwdrivers. I have a Phillip and I have a flat and I have the screws. I recommend if you guys are uh, using small little screws, have like a nice little container or a cup or something. Just put them in there. Don't have them loose because they're so easy to lose. Uh, another thing that I am missing, which I do recommend that you guys get is a ES. D electrostatic discharge wristband. I lost mine a while back. It's been a while that I actually built the workstation. So this is actually my first workstation since I believe four or five years and uh, not starting the good way with best practice, right? So I recommend if you guys are building a workstation for the first time, get yourself an ESD wristband. Uh, so your discharge, there is a way to do it. You can actually take the panel and just rub your hands before you even touch any electronics, okay? So the first thing we need to do is open up the box. Depending on what case you guys got, uh, a lot of cases on the back side have screws. This one has two screws. I'm gonna use the fill up and unscrew these two screws. Again, keep that little cup close by because you wanna put these screws inside so you won't lose them, okay? That's always important, don't lose your screws. I've had in the past when I had to like replace a, a memory stick or a hard drive and someone bumps the table and a screw falls and it disappears. So really it, again, really depends on what tower you guys are using. Some towers you could do the slide, the slide thing, you could slide it out. Some towers you probably have to like maneuver, like this one right here is just like a slide and a pull up and here it goes. So inside of this is beautiful awesome a lot of wiring i got the wiring for the front panel uh, for the usb as well as the led lights for the hard drive and the fans and all that good stuff this is a power supply for the fan so i'm going to put this on the side there we go i'm just going to put it to the side right now um the top part right here is if i want to upgrade it with um some fans i believe this is 120 millimeter fans and the bottom part as well you can put, uh, there's already a built-in fan here. You can put two more fans in the front, which I will be doing with you guys soon. I'm super excited about that. So first thing you need to do, just rub your hands on metal. Just rub it. Get all that discharged electricity out of your system. And once you're completely done with that, we're going to put this guy outside. Okay, and we are going to take our motherboard out. How beautiful is that? Now, depending on what motherboard you purchased, the motherboard that I purchased came with an IO shield, which is an input output shield. So we need to install that. So let's take care of that. Now, uh, you gotta make sure that you're putting it on the right way. Sometimes, you know, put it in the wrong way and then it's confusing. So the IO shield panel normally goes like right here. I'm gonna show you guys real close. So the IO shield goes right here. So that's where we need to insert that pad or the shield, right? So I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to put some force on the corners because you need to actually get it to click into this panel. So I'm gonna lift up the box a little bit and I'm going to put some force into the corners until I hear that clip. There you go, there you go, there you go and should be that's it i think it's all good to go as you can see shield panel is there uh best thing about the shield panel is because it gives you a rundown of what's what i'm hoping i put it the right way i probably did put it the wrong way so let's pop it out put the shield back on the right way the way that you know that the shield was in the wrong way is when the lettering usb is backwards that's not a good thing Yep, okay, so we need to do is let's pop this in to the tower one more time. Put some force into it. There we go. Put 
fourths on the corners. There we go. You guys hear the click? Click is a good thing. It's always a good thing with the clicking. There we go. Beautiful. And that's it. So this is how it's supposed to look. Uh, make sure that uh, the wording on your I.O. panel does say USB the right way, HDMI and all that good stuff. If you're not sure how it goes, take your, mother take your motherboard out, place it on the middle gently, and uh, wherever the, the ports are facing, that's, where, that's the way that you put your I.O. shield. So I'm going to turn this guy around, and if you guys don't notice from far away, there is a metal like a metal screw now some cases don't come with this metal screw this middle screw or metal screw um is actually like the positioning of where you need to drop your motherboard if it's not there i would say check the little bag where all the screws came into and uh automatically put that screw in the middle so what we're going to do is we're going to take the motherboard out so this is the motherboard how beautiful is this i'm super excited oh look at that beautiful thing cool Awesome. CPU will go here. That will be in the later episode. Uh, memory right here. Uh, PCR cards right here. SATA. This is awesome. So I'm going to show you right, guys. This is the front panel. VGA, DVI, uh, USB. I can't believe they actually have a motherboard with a PS2 port. And this, is, this one is a hybrid. You can actually put the keyboard in the mouse. Old school. HDMI. Uh, one, two uh, ports for 3.0. Uh, two more 2.0 USBs, an Ethernet port, and then you have your audio system right here for uh, speakers, mic, and uh, input and output and stuff. Cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to gently put this bad boy inside the case. And the way that you want to put it, you want to put it in the angle. So ports are going to be facing downward, and it's going to go gently inside the I.O. shield. And then you're just going to lay it down. And then that middle screw that I told you guys, you got to make sure you have it right in the middle. There it goes. There it goes right in the middle. Awesome. So it's already in place. Uh, make sure that each individual hole, you're able to see it so you can screw this bad boy in. Okay. So right now I have one, two, three, four. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws that I have to put. And go in the back panel, make sure that your I.O. shield is aligned to everything. It looks beautiful. So what is, let's go. I got my trusty little cup right here. I'm going to take the first screw. We're going to put it here. Uh, I normally recommend having uh, a Phillips screwdriver that's a little longer. Uh, maybe longer than the box. Like right now, this is pretty, you know, pretty short. I don't have one. I lost it. Again, it's been a while since I actually repaired a machine, but it's still in the blood. So let's, um, let's screw the first one in so we can tight this out. And there you go. Again, I recommend not putting too much force on the screw when you're screwing it because one, uh, if you put too much force on the screw, you're going to crack the motherboard. That's a big no-no and the motherboard is useless. It's $200 or $150 down the drain. Uh, make it to the point that it's tight enough. Uh, once you get to the point that it's tight, hey, leave it alone. It's good to go. And you probably, you never know, you probably want to upgrade your motherboard in the future. Uh, I don't have any recommendation or preference of how to put the screws. I normally like to put the first one in the corner to keep it nice and adjusted. And then from there, I just continue putting the screws gently. And there you go. That's it. So I think it was about seven screws that I have to put in total. Is that a screw? I don't think that's a screw. Got to make sure where the screws are. I know that was a screw. I think this is a screw right here. Right next to... So this is one of the cases that a long Phillips screwdriver will work great for me, but uh, it, it looks like it's doing its thing. The small one is doing its thing. There it goes. Let's put another one. I thought this one was a a board, but it isn't. Oh, almost lost it, and it's not. I think this is another one over here in this corner. So I'm going to put the screw over here in the corner. 
You gotta make sure you put all the screws in the right location. Super excited about this case. I'm super excited about this build because this machine is gonna be my primary machine to render my videos and my gaming and all that good stuff. And let's take a look. Let's take a look, all right. Go, put this screw right here. Awesome. I think this is a screw hole, but I'm not too sure. Let's check. That is not a screw hole. The way that I know is a screw hole is that uh, the the screw should have sink in automatically all the way down. But uh, that's it. Uh, this motherboard actually took one, two, three, four, five screws. Uh, I thought it was seven, but these two slots right here are not screws at all. And that's it, guys. That is how. You install your motherboard on the Cougar. Again, uh, this motherboard is specifically designed for this case. Uh, if you purchase something a little bigger, just make sure that the case that you are installing your motherboard fits the motherboard or the motherboard fits the case. Because if not, uh, you're out of luck. That means you got to return the case and get something that's compatible. Uh, if you guys look a little closely in the bottom, I'm going to tilt the board a little bit. Um, you can see I have two more slots. These two more slots indicate that I'm able to purchase a motherboard a little longer up to the points that it stops here. Uh, this is more of a mini, a mini tower, but because of the mini tower, it stops right here and it's less screws. But if it was longer, I'd have been using two more, three more additional screws. So that's pretty awesome. And that's it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave comments right below. I think on the next episode, we're going to be taking care of the CPU, um, thermal paste for the cooling fan, and we're going to place the cooling fan on top of the CPU. And then that's it. And I think the following episodes, we're going to take care of the memory, the power supply, and we're going to plug everything into the motherboard correctly and best practice and management on cabling and all that good stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as this guy. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.